Okay, what is up everybody? Now I'm here and I'm here with a lovely new Birdlandia build and last week we left off with Mr. Think Noodles Noodle Shop and Garden. That was a lovely build and we had three other lovely little builds. But as always, we only have one person build. So let's go ahead and get into our person build for this week and then we'll show our three lovely little builds off. So let's go ahead and show the person build. Now it's a small little person build and it's Mr. Wuffles spice shop so yes i wanted to integrate one more person build into this lovely little area our other builds are going to be over there and i'll show those off quite shortly but first let's uh get into mr wolfle's spice shop now i wanted to integrate some different type of wood patterns on the roof so i went ahead and used uh dark oak and uh, acacia so i went ahead and did that so let's go ahead and get in to the lovely little spice shop now like i said this is a small building because you know what spice shops are not going to be large i'm sorry i don't think i've ever even really seen a spice shop so i wanted to integrate a spice shop so i did a little bit of googling and guess what spice shops are never really that big so i went ahead and made a very basic spice shop so it's got everything from cinnamon cloves salt pepper turmeric Long pepper, saffron, ginger root, and ground mustard. Now, each of these have a full amount so you can get your lovely amount of salt, let's say. So you can just come in here and get your lovely amount of what you need. And you have your lovely man right here who will be watching over Mr. Wolfle's lovely little shop while he's away doing YouTube and whatnot. So, yes, this is a lovely little shop. Like I said, a small shop. I wanted to make it small, so hopefully you guys still enjoy it. I enjoyed the lovely little different styling of... Uh, wood patterns on the roof and i went ahead and put this right up flush to the side of the mountain so hopefully we don't have any landslides that would suck but uh yes we have now another person build here in this lovely little um i guess this is like the square but we have made a new square which is right over here and i've decided to integrate this lovely little square right here now if i'm gonna put builds in here i don't know yet i really don't know i don't know if i want this just to be the school square I'm not sure yet, but let's go ahead and get into the next build, and it's right next to it, and it's our biggest build for this week, and it is, well, of course, the hospital. Now, I wanted to make, you know, a big flat square hospital, but you know what? I didn't want to make a big flat square hospital just for the fact that squares bland. Squares a boring thing to do, so I didn't want to make it too square, so I decided to integrate and make my own personal little hospital, so hopefully you guys will enjoy this. Now, this is not really like your big emergency room hospital. This is... You go in if you're sick, and we'll set you into a bed. So let's go ahead and get into there. So this is the hospital. This is where you can wait. This is like the waiting room. And then this is where our lovely little, uh, I guess, nurses will watch after you and tell you what you need to do and if you can go back. So this is an open-styled uh, hospital. Now, I wish Minecraft could integrate some curtains so I can have little hospital curtained-off areas. But I don't. There is no such thing as curtained-off areas so far so yet. So I have made this an open patient ward. So hopefully you enjoy this lovely little ward. I went ahead and tried to make it as architecturally uh, nice as I could. I went ahead and made all this lovely little... And I wanted some nice, fresh, natural light. Because guess what? Natural light can kill off bacteria. It's a proven fact. Google it. So yes, this is a lovely little area. And hopefully you guys enjoyed this hospital. Let's go ahead and get into our next two builds. And our next two builds are over there. So we have these two builds. So this is the first one, and it is, well, if you can't tell, a greenhouse. It's a greenhouse. Birdlandia needed some lovely flowers. It's becoming springtime here in America. So this is our lovely little um, greenhouse. Now, these flowers have not been labeled, but all of these have been labeled just for the fact that all these are sporadic. But, I mean, you got your, you got your orchids right here, so these are your blue orchids. I think that's a buckeye. And then I can't remember the name of this said plant. It is an azure so an azure and then an alumum. Al alumum. I can't. I'm not a flower guy. But yes, these are all lovely little flowers. I know a dandelion technically isn't a flower. It's more of a weed. But it's here because in Minecraft we know this is a flower. A yellow flower and a red flower. The red flower has been changed a little bit in the past. But these are our lovely flowers. So hopefully you guys enjoy these. I only put two of the tulips up. Just for the fact that two of the tulips are my favorite. White tulips and red tulips and then you got your lovely sunflowers so you know later down the season you can get some lovely little sunflower seeds and you can eat them for baseball season put me in coach i'm ready to play but uh yes and i also have this little outside area which you can get some um cactus so this uh is kind of a greenhouse but it's also a gardened area because you know this is technically 
uh, not in the greenhouse. So this is more of a garden area. So yes, that is lovely. That is lovely indeed. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that. And I loved being able to make this all greenhousey. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I originally made the color green, but I realized it kind of looked like, like a little army base. So I was like, yeah, I'm going to change that. So yes, that's that build. And let's get into the next build, which is a bank. This is a bank. And it looks like a TIE fighter if you look at it right from the front. It's like a it's like a brick TIE fighter. But let's go ahead and get inside. And this is the lovely little bank. These are lovely little bank men. And these are lovely little offices that you can go in. Now, both of these are exactly identical just on the other side of one another. So, yes, these are exactly the same. These are people that you would go into to talk to about getting a loan. So that's just the way that's going to be. And then down here is the lovely little bank um area where they keep all the lovely prized possessions so these are where you keep all your lovely amounts of beautiful beautiful gems and diamonds and iron ores and gold ores so yes very simple very simplistic hopefully you guys enjoyed that i didn't want to make too big of a um bank so hopefully you guys are okay with that but yes this is the Bertlandia build for this week as always if you guys enjoyed make sure you hit that like button and if you would like this to be downloadable you know, on Planet Minecraft. Let's get this video to a thousand likes. A thousand likes. I think we can do that. A thousand likes. That should be simple. And uh, yes, as always, leave your ideas in the comment sections of what you'd like to see next week. And we will get into that next time. So yes, I'm going to go, you know, bitch at someone who just Skyped me. So yes, good day and goodbye. And if you guys haven't checked out the lovely new BAM Lounge video, I think you guys should go check it out. Go watch it now. Do it.